What's up, Ninbuzz? Welcome back to more Kirby's Return to Dreamland. In this episode, we are taking on a boss, and you know what boss fight time means. That means we have a very special guest, so why don't you introduce yourself to the folks at home? Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have a special guest this week. No, I do. It's Rihanna. She just has a concert tonight, so she has to save her throat. She can't speak. No, uh, it's just all meets this week because I forgot we had this boss fight. I don't know. I got busy with this and that. I got all sidetracked, so uh, I'm going to be Leaf Kirby. Because I remembered way back when, when I fought one of the Spear Doomers, Leaf Kirby came in handy. So I decided I'll, I'll go with this. I'll try it and... I mean, what is this? They're just going to give us the last ship part? All right. Yay. So I don't even need a special guest. I just won with the... Well, wait, hey, what? what? What's going on here? Uh, that That's mine. I claimed it. Oh, no. You got to be kidding me. It's the biggest spear doomer yet. It's the grand doomer. All right. So this must be the big mama. She's upset at us because we like whooped all of her children's butt throughout the course of the game. No, get that bad, Kirby. Kirby, get that power up. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and look. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, no. That was like possibly the stupidest thing that I've done in this entire Let's Play. Why did I like spit out my power up? I was thinking, you know, I got this big ball in my mouth. I gotta aim it and spit it out of the Grand Doomer, and I forgot my power-up was in there, too. Not only that, I freaking missed at the same time. No, I missed again. This freaking Grand Doomer is moving too fast, and now what is he doing? It's like turned into a floor mask or something. I don't even want to, like, risk getting, like, pulled into the netherworld. No! All right, so we're going to have to do, like, this whole fight now without a power-up. So much for my planning. I thought I was being all cool. I was like, yeah, I'm going to think ahead. I'm going to get, like, Leaf Kirby for this. And then what happens? Oh, I missed again! No! So yeah, what happens? I, I plan out this cool power-up, and then I lose it two seconds into the battle. This is why I should always have a guest. And for all of you out there who say, Tenor P, how come your guest is always a girl, man? Well, here's the thing. I just figure, you know, we have a lot of women who watch Ninbuzz. We don't have that many female Let's Players who do commentary around here, so whenever there's an opportunity to like introduce you guys to like a female let's player who I happen to be a fan of. I'm all for like putting them on Ninbus so like more people will get to know them. So I don't know. I think it's a cool thing to do. And all of these ladies who have been my guests are just friends. Because any anytime I have a guest, people automatically assume, oh, girl and a guy doing commentary. They must be getting married. And yeah, that's the case. Because uh, girls and guys can't be friends. So uh, I guess next time I have a female guest um, in any of my let's play videos, I'll just put like a bridal registry link so you guys can like send us a toaster or something like that. No, you guys, guys out there, don't you have like friends who are, who are girls and you just do stuff like hang out with? Um, I don't know. I've just always been one of those guys who I had like a lot of girl friends. Like I had guy friends too. I wasn't the uh, only boy on the playground who was like playing hopscotch with the girls all the time. But uh, no, I don't know. Sometimes I hang out with girls and uh, do girl stuff and, uh, and sometimes I hang out with my guy friends. And do manly stuff like watch football and smash aluminum cans on our foreheads. No, I, I don't know. Um, I, I just think that's that's how most people are. So uh, it's always cool when, uh, boy, I freaking eat that. This is the time when I wish I had a guest to do the talking so I could like be quiet and like focus because we're, we're getting like really close to like, I think I probably got like one or two more hits. This boss only has one or two more hits, so it's going to be touch and go. Oh, do we do, we do something? No, 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 not on this boss. Why? Did he just get all of his life back? No, I, I, no, and I lost my power up. All right, get our sword power up back. Why couldn't you, like, give us something better than, like, sword Kirby? I mean, wait a minute. Is, is that what I, is that what I think it is? All right, come on, please, please be. <laughs> it's the ultra sword, oh my gosh. We, okay, now, forget what I said. This boss fight has officially become the coolest thing ever. We got the Ultra Sword, baby. All right, I don't care. You can come back to life like five times now. I am not losing. I got the sword. All right, I'm missing a lot. I'm I'm too, I'm so excited. I'm like swinging way before he gets here. Bam! That's like the most satisfying thing that I've ever done in, <laughs> in a video game. Big old sword against like the final boss of a game. Yes. Oh, man. Like, this was one of those like things that I was like, wouldn't it be cool if you got to fight a boss with the Ultra Sword? And I never thought they'd do it, but they did it. They freaking did it. All right. Yay for whoever thought of this genius thing. Oh, I missed. All right. That's okay. Not worried about it. 
Grand Doomer slow down a little bit. I'll just take out your minions. So uh, yeah, we got all sorts of enemies flying out of the sky, but it doesn't matter because I got this big old sword. I got the giant Meta Knight sword right there. Alright, one more hit. I almost don't want to use the last hit. I almost want to like play around with him just so I can keep this sword for a while. This is like the funnest thing ever. Alright, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to like toy around with this. I know I'm like almost out of health, but uh, I don't even care. It seems like they keep giving us food when we take out the minions too. This is just the best thing ever. Alright, this is it. Bam! Grand Doomer. Wait, he still has some life left? What's up with that? Alright, so uh, what is he going to do to us? We're not going to give him a chance to do anything. Let's finish this fight, Kirby, with our Cutlass. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're using everything. This is like a uh, Brawl Final Smash or something. Oh, that's the best thing ever. Kirby. You're so awesome. All hail, Kirby. Oh, my gosh. So we got it. We got the last and final ship part for Magalore. This game's been all worth it just for that last fight. Like, I know I was, like, frustrated there for a second because I thought he was, he was going to kill me because he got all of his health back. Getting that Ultra Sword, that's just the coolest thing ever. Oh, my gosh. I love that. All right, so, uh, Magalore, we got your last ship part. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the heck on up out of here. You can't park here. You're, like, killing all the grass. And Dreamland, we're tired of looking at your ship. All right, so here it is. The last ship part. Do your electricity. Cool techno music play. I guess this isn't really techno music. Whatever kind of music this is. Uh, cool music play. Your ship parts, they all light up in the order in which we receive them. And now, Magalore, your ship is once again fully operational. Why aren't you flying away, dude? What's the deal? Oh, that's right. He wanted us to go with him. I don't know if I want to go with him. Why do I ever want to leave Dreamland? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it, Kirby. Yeah, I'm going to give Magalore an accent. The law is back in business. The oars, both wings, the emblem, and the mast. Yep, it's all there. The moment I've been waiting for, it's here. You're my hero. I'm a lot of people's hero. And a promise is a promise. I owe you a trip to my home. A trip to Halkandra. Uh, I don't know if we want to go there. Halkandra exists in another dimension. It's super far away. But the law can get us there in the blink of an eye. Pack some snacks, Kirby. We're off to Halkandra. I don't know if your ship is big enough for, like, enough snacks to get Kirby through, like, a space flight. Think of how much food Kirby just goes through, like, in an hour. For, like, a long space flight? It'll take forever. Alright, so, uh, what exactly are we doing here? Is that, is that his home planet right there? Alright, so, uh, I guess this is how he plans out his coordinates. This is his GPS navigation. So, wait a minute. We were just sitting in a grass field, and it looked like we were surrounded by water there in that cutscene. Maybe I was looking at it wrong, but, uh, oh, that's cool how we travel. It's like we go through, like, a dimensional warp or something like that. Oh, look at this place. This should be in Mario Galaxy. Is that a volcano, though, in the middle? I don't know about this place all of a sudden. All right. Don't go crash landing again, so you're sure. Oh, what is that? Spyro the Dragon. It looks like a Neopet or something like that. Wait, why is he shooting at us? Dude, Maglor, what the heck? No. Don't crash land. If we have to do find all five ship parts again, I'll be mad. Who is that guy? Why is he so mad at us? Dude, what did we ever do to you? He looks, he looks adorably evil. Like, he's kind of evil looking, but he's kind of adorable too. So, uh, once again, we find ourselves in a crash ship. You better not have lost all those energy spears either. What, what's going on? Oh, it's still attacking us? Or is this just like the instant replay of the ship? I don't know. Is this thing coming at us? Four-headed dragon, that is not good. Maglor, what have you got us into? Why didn't you just stay in Dreamland, man? Do you like owe this dragon money? Did you steal some of its treasure? What's the big idea? Kirby, are you going to help him out? Of course you're going to help him out because you're such a good guy. Like me, I'd been like, where's the snacks at? But Kirby, he's brave. He's like, yeah, I'll help. Even DDD's going to help. Waddle Dee's going to help. Even, even Meta Knight? Whoa, even Meta Knight was committal on this one. So then, you know you're good, because Meta Knight never comes to anything. He's all wishy-washy, he's like, mm, am I a good guy, am I a bad guy? No, he's a good guy. I like Meta Knight. Alright, so, uh, looks like here we are, Megalore's home planet. Kirby, that dragon! Its name is Landia. I wonder if it's a girl dragon. I I'm guessing it is, Landia. It's lived in this planet for ages, but it's always been fast asleep. Recently, however, it woke up and went on a rampage. 
Please, Kirby, you must defeat that crazy dragon. I know I've asked a lot of you, but this is it, I swear! Alright, one more favor for you, Magalore. I guess we're gonna go out onto your planet and take out... Oh, your planet doesn't look very good, man. Alright, so, uh, let's see how we're gonna take out this dragon. Oh, it looks like we have another world that we're gonna have to go through. Are we gonna have to go through, like, stages again? I thought this game was over. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to do a whole new level. Alright, so, in the next episode, we are gonna be starting level 6, Egg Engines, and taking on the first stage so we can help Magalore defeat this dragon. And then hopefully, all will be right with the world, and then we can get back to Dreamland for some snacks and goodies. See you guys next time for more Kirby's Return to Dreamland.